Due to Storm Aidan and another impending national lockdown, this channel is about to fold. That'll be Stop Fold Football Club and welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon and welcome to Around the Ground, otherwise known as I hadn't planned to come here. I thought I'd be adventurous today and go to the Portsmouth area, but then about a day and a half ago, Storm Aiden was threatened to hit. And it's shocking it's been the last couple of hours. Howling a gale again, ferocious um, winds and heavy rain. So um, I changed my mind with that, with the pandemic and the long travel journeys it just seemed sensible to stay reasonably local that's what happens when you get older you become sensible so here i am at stotfold um, which is a new uh, venue only opened really quite recently uh, that's the main stand there um geographically um bedfordshire i guess it's about a mile and a half from arlsey station interesting arlsey station it's about a mile and a half or two miles from the station to langford football club it's about the same distance to arlsey football club and about the same distance from here so three grounds within walking distance of arlsey station none of which are particularly close um at home today stockfold to london tigers um, who are propping up the league at the moment so here's the clubhouse it looks really nice in the uh, sort of goldy orange color there and some picnic tables out here um, i'm only going to be able to walk three quarters of the way around this ground um, the far side is cordoned off to keep the players safe um, which is fair enough So um, we are awash with stewards here, which is um, great to see, and thanks to them for all the hard work that they do. A new subscriber I need to um, tell you about, Mark Osborne, so I can mark him off. Welcome, Mark. Good to hear from you. My video last week is actually brightening up. Look at that. Fantastic. That's the standing area over there we're not going to be able to get to today. And here's the main stand. This looks really it's a strange place when you approach here um, it's actually quite bleak um, it's very open around this area and there's a long road just next to the ground that goes quite a distance down to a sort of factory or something but there's nothing else really around loads of room for expansion and building and goodness knows what plans local councils have but I don't know what I expect here but it really is kind of in the middle of nowhere and apologies because the wind is yet again going to spoil this walk around the ground that's the far goal there so we got this wooden fencing all the way around the outside um, all looks so neat doesn't it and it's new and loads of room as we spin around this far end you can see there's loads of room behind so I guess if a club ever wanted to expand and build other stands then there's plenty of room to do that and that's looking back at where we've just been it's kind of cool as the sun's about to break through I have to confess in my ignorance I thought this was a um, 3G, 4G pitch, but there you go, it isn't. What do I know? Having decided not to go to Portsmouth, I was then going to go to Peterborough and Northern Star. But then when I saw that Stockfold were at home, I, I like to leave new grounds normally a couple of seasons to bed in, but I thought, you know what, with everything that's going on, this was a sensible place to come today. So I'm just going to be able to come up to this fence here. Let's spin back and look at the clubhouse and the main stand there and seriously angry crowds, crowds, clouds behind it, um, which have just dumped a whole load of rain on us, they're going away thankfully, and this blue stuff is coming towards us. So this is the bit we can't get to, so there's the dugouts ahead of me there. Um, I've taken a couple of pictures of those, and there's the covered standing area. With the sun, you're not getting a great shot of that, apologies. 
So let's focus more on the main stand over there. But isn't it nice to see a new facility open? Um, I'm sort of penciling this in for potential midweek games when they start up again. Um, with lockdown probably coming this week, I have no idea when I'm going to be able to get back out to games again. I do have about seven videos which I've held back, so um, maybe one a fortnight I'll put out, so I'll be able to keep going for a while, so do look out for those. But anyway, don't take my word for it. Why don't you come to Stockfold Football Club yourself? I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome. Do stay tuned for clips of today's match and some stills at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, click on like. If you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike. And why not subscribe? So that all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed. And once you've subscribed, click on the little bell. Click on the little bell. You'll wake up in the morning. There'll be a brand new stand in your garden. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. This is Stockfold Football Club. Right, son. Save. time and I'm opposite Eatonbury School with a final score of Stockfold 7, London Tigers 0. London Tigers were not as bad as the score might suggest. Going forward, 
They really look quite dangerous occasionally, could easily have scored. Unfortunately, they were prone to some horrendous errors at the back, hence the wide margin of the final score. Really nice ground to visit. Do come if you can. I certainly hope to return there for a midweek match or two when we are able. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to be able to speak to you very soon. And this is Stop Football Club.